Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim dear viewers today we will calculate wall load and beam self hurt load to get the total line load let's consider wall width 20 cm floor height this is considered to determine the wall height and top beam depth will be reduced from this floor height to get the actual wall height and bottom beam depth and top bottom beam width for calculating self weight of the beam at bottom of wall so now first we will calculate roof load having parapet wall of 1 meter height for example 1 meter height parapet wall let's consider it is in peripheral beams so we will write here 1 meter here top beam depth 0 centimeter so it will not detect anything from the, this height so full parapet wall height full 1 meter will be used to calculate the load bottom beam depth for example will let's consider 50 centimeter and bottom beam width same 20 centimeter so now you need to add, if it is hollow block then you need to add this one and this is the you need to add in kilonewton per meter cube so line load from wall it is coming 2.84 and line load, line load from beam self weight it is coming this one as 25 kilonewton per meter cube is concrete unit weight so this is the load in kilonewton per meter so total line load for wall and beam self weight this is this one 5.34 and if this is uh, not hollow block this is solid bleak brick wall then this will be the total load this is coming from this and this now load from slab we have calculated for example this one 11.67 so we will add this one to this here I will calculate load for hollow block work so I will take this load so total line load for hollow block this one plus this and for solid brick this one for solid brick here we will put the value this plus this one so i will take this one if i consider hollow block so 17.1 now i will write here the total load for this span this side is span 17.01 i will write 17 then 14.91 14.91 it is coming 20.25 20.25 then it is 12 if i put 12 then 17.34 17.35 then they are also same here it is not 0 so I'll put 0 so 5.34 4 or 3 5 no issue and here 8.5 8 13.84 8.5 will write for the better precision this one will be same 
12.33 in this way we will calculate the other span load so after the calculation this is our total load on beams in roof this slab load we have calculated in previous tutorial and now we have got our parapet wall load that parapet wall load we have added with the previous calculated slab load now we will go for typical floor for example consider we have three floors we will, later on we will calculate total load on the columns that will determine the reaction load so typical floor load having their uh, full wall of 3.4 meter floor height so go here let us consider all beam having the full wall floor height is 3.4 meter so we will input we will put 3.4 meter value top beam depth uh, as we consider 50 centi bottom beam let's consider same 50 centi and with this 20 centi and this is our load from wall and self weight beam self weight 10.75 if it is solid brick wall then 13.43 and load from slab here we take 14.91 14.91 it will come 25.66 25.66 it will come if we put 12 then 22.75 from here to here I will go 11.67 23.67 and here same this one is coming okay so this 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 and this being finished same way we will calculate this all loads and add with the previous calculated slab load so after the calculation and adding the values we have got our actual value for total line load on this typical floor now we will go for grade beam or plane beam having 3.6 meter ground floor height here in plane beam no slab so here there will be no previous load now we will put our wall load values so we will put the floor height 3.6 meter wall with the same top beam depth 50 centimeter bottom beam depth for example 40 for clean beam with 20 okay now this is our load and yes there is no slab so this is the linear load value for plane beams so 10.82 we will put 10.82 this is kilonewton per meter
so this is our uniform load value for clean beam or great beams from this loadings we can create our load diagram as per grids so for number one grid i'll show the inter vertical this one this one and this one this is our floor 3.4 meter 1 2 3 3 floor this is roof and 3 typical floor and last one is offset 3.6 meter this is great beam let's consider footing at 1.6 meter depth so this will trim and for example we draw a footing here this one this one and this one okay and here we will trim this we can write the roof level name roof now we can put our value in this line from here if we take this now for roof this one grid 1 20 point Two five, two five, then seventeen point three five. This is seventeen point three five. This is roof load. Now for typical load, it will come here, here. Here and at the grid beam, this will be here. So, here we can write UDL in kilonewton per meter for grid 1 so this is the load diagram for a building we can calculate it manually in this way for grid a b c and d same way we can do in this side so we have finished our load calculation for all the grids from here we can calculate the load total load for all the columns from that we can get reaction load in the next tutorial we will see how to calculate this load so till then stay tuned Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.